and welcome back again to another video this is the fourth video on film Ford. so in today's video we're going to look at how we can apply the effects to our clips also using the chroma keying opacity and also crop and motion tool so let's begin in the welcome window let's select our previous project and we can click to open it up and now we are back again in the main editing uh, window here so when we're selecting the clip we can see that the effect tool is uh, active now so we will select the um, effect tool it gets us to the effect to apply effects to our clip so there are different effects here you can choose whatever you want to apply to your video and i want to choose this one so once selecting it you can compare it here so using this little button here you can click hold to compare with your original clip and the effects that you just applied to it so when you're happy with that you can just simply click to go back again to the main editing window so this is how we can apply the effect to our clip now let's look at how we can apply the crop and motion tool so selecting the clip on the timeline go to the tool that is activated that is the crop and motion tool when you click on that you can see it gets us all the way into our little tool panel here to apply the uh, crop and motion so in the crop and motion you can always um, use this to crop your videos or the clip either a video clip or a still photo and once you're happy with that you can click ok or if you want to use a different resolution here you can do that custom original ratio ratio type that is in here so you can choose from that and when you're happy with that you can click ok but this time i want to reset that and click ok and go back again so that's how we apply the crop now apply the motion so over here you can see we are in the crop video and now let's go to the motion so there are different motions applied here you can see this one here is zoom in so it starts from here zoom into this end here that's a little triangle here indicating that's the end the blue one also zoom out here so it starts from here and zoom out to meet the end of the clip now uh, the resolution of the clip and also end to right start from here and end here and then to left start from here and end here and you can add a switch between these two swap between the uh, motion so that's how we apply the motion to our clip so now we're going to look at how we can apply using the chroma keying and opacity in our video so let's click ok if you want to or we need to just reset this and click ok to go back to the main editing workspace okay so now that we have already applied effects crop and motion so let's go back out again and choose a little project that i have created previously for this tutorial so here i have imported some still photos into the timeline okay so now we can look at how we can use the chroma key and the opacity so let's go back to the main window here and in here i want to select pixar in pixar so selecting the pixar in pixar now we can have the option of adding a pixar on top of this uh, pixar here so let's click that go to location where we have our clip select it and open it so it applied to where you placed your marker so i want to move the marker somewhere here and in the middle here if it is not active simply selecting that to become active click in the middle with the two parallel lines and drag it to the position where your marker is and release it let's come to the screen and you can see there's a button here to um, zoom in and out and rotation here and zoom in and out now something to note of um, the chroma king in film Ford does not apply to any still photos it's only applied to video clips so when using the video clip you can see that it's uh, activated so here is the chroma king Let's, let's look at how we can use the opacity tool so here when selecting the clip simply select uh, click on the uh, opacity tool and use the slider to move to whatever percentage you want so that's how we use the opacity here you can apply the same to add a clip if you want to place two different clips on one pixel in pixel and now let's go to chroma key so in the chroma key when you select the tool chroma key tool you can see that the chroma key effect is not active so we have to activate that once we activate that it's asking you to select a color or you can add a color so here selecting a color you can click here to select a color or simply use this little uh, eyedropper here click 
then drop it onto the color of the clip and you can see that it's applied the chroma key to the text and you can use the slider here the tol tolerance uh, slider here to get the correct effect that you want to once you're happy with that simply just click here to go back out again so that's how we apply the chroma key and also the opacity to a clip it's only applied when there's a clip on pixel in pixel and again to take note it does not apply to uh, still photos it's only applied to videos that's all for this video and thank you for watching and thank you for those who have subscribed to our channel and thank you again hope you have learned something from this uh, video and how you can use the film for thank you again and see you all in the next one